Can proprioceptive training improve balance? A 2022 study entitled The Effectiveness of Proprioceptive Training in Improving Motor Performance and Motor Dysfunction looked at the question of whether proprioceptive training really is effective at improving proprioception and balance in a variety of subjects. This study used 70 different research articles as a meta-analysis to look at the question of what type of intervention improves proprioception the most and which population of people are most benefited from proprioceptive training. The study looked at a variety of interventions. It looked at balance training, it looked at targeted training, vibration, mind-body exercise, which includes yoga and tai chi, it even looked at passive range of motion and vibration. It looked at all of these different interventions to see which were the most effective in improving proprioception and balance. There were many interesting findings in the study. One of them was that balance challenge training was actually the most effective at improving balance and proprioception. The researchers found that overall, in all of the studies, there was a 46% improvement in proprioception and a 45% improvement in balance from any of the interventions. But when you looked at just balance training, there was an 83% improvement in proprioception and a 60% improvement in balance from balance challenge training. So of all of the interventions, balance challenge training had the highest improvement in balance and proprioception. The researchers also found that proprioceptive training was significant in improving balance in people with orthopedic injuries and neurologic injuries. One of the interesting findings was that when they looked at all different populations that received proprioceptive training, that people that were elderly and people that had neurological dysfunction benefited the most from proprioceptive training. And they found that athletes benefited the least. So in simple terms, proprioceptive training is highly effective in elderly people or people that have dysfunction such as a stroke or a neurological injury or a head injury. They're going to benefit more from proprioceptive training than people that are already athletic and highly active. So the conclusion of this article is that when you have reduced proprioception and reduced balance, that proprioceptive training specifically is highly effective in improving your balance and function. If you like this video, please like my channel to see more videos like this. And if you look in the description, I have links to other videos that might be helpful.